uh, now to illustrate the idea of uh, inter VLAN routing are connecting multiple VLANs using a router specifically the idea of a router on a stick I have taken some of the PCs and so you can see there are six computers and first three computers I say they belong to VLAN 10 and the second three computers belong to VLAN 20 of course I have not created VLAN yet just uh, just in a starting point but to create VLAN of course we need a switch so I'm selecting a switch from here okay and uh, now this VLAN 10 for example VLAN 10 has three computers and suppose they are but they are actually in subnet uh, 1 and these three computers are in subnet 2 and I have assigned the IP address to them so this is 192.168.1.1 1 1.2 1.3 so these are in one subnet and computers on this side you can see 192.168.10.1.10.2.10.3 so 10 means they are in different subnets so dot one so network portion is different for both of the IP addresses they are in different subnets now we need to connect these all computers to the switch using straight through cables so I'm selecting a straight through cable and connecting this computer with this interface of the switch very first interface that is fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 then second interface 0 slash 2 third interface 0 slash 3 fourth interface 0 slash 4 0 slash 5 and 0 slash 6 so by using six interfaces of the switch I have com connected these all six computers now I have already assigned the IP address to these all so for that just you need to go like this and you can assign IP address we discussed in uh, our previous videos and I'll demonstrate later on as well so now what I want I want these three interfaces to be part of this VLAN 10 and these remaining three interfaces to be part of this VLAN 20 for that I need to go to switch and uh, I need to go to those interfaces so enable config P so say for example I'm creating VLAN first so just VLAN 10 with this command we created one VLAN and then VLAN 20 so by using these two commands we created VLAN and if you want to see those then we can use the show VLAN command and we will have information that here you can see we have VLAN 10 this is VLAN 20 and the status is active but there are no ports here all of the ports are assigned to the by default VLAN that is VLAN 1 Okay. <clears throat> now what we do, we go to these interfaces, so config C and then interface, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, the first interface this one and then we just say switch port, access, VLAN 10. So this command will put this interface that is pass ethernet 0 slash 1 this interface will be now the member of VLAN 10 so first interface has become the member of VLAN 10 and now second and third so for that we can select interface so the same command I mean this should be in the tree so I use up arrow key and this is 2 and then switch port access VLAN 10 and for the Third, so for this PC or the, this interface again up arrow I have the command there so this is the third interface which I selected interface path Ethernet 0 slash 3 enter and then inter switch port access VLAN 10 so this command is going to put this interface in VLAN 10 good so we are done with first um, three interfaces of the switch 
now let's say to just go to previous mode now we are going to select these three so remaining these three interfaces are we are, and we are going to assign this inter this vlan to those interfaces and now this time i'm selecting um, using the range command for interface range and then fast ethernet 0 slash 4 so this is 0 slash 4 and 0 slash 4 0 slash 5 and 6 so up to 6 so these three interfaces will be selected 4 5 and 6 enter and then just switch port access access vlan this time vlan 20 so this is 20 so we assign these interfaces to VLAN 20. And if you're interested, then we can see this that show VLAN. Here we can see that VLAN 20 has these interfaces and VLAN 20 has these interfaces. Before that, this was empty. Now we need to connect this switch with a router. So I'm selecting the router from here and this is router. So we have discussed these things in our PowerPoint slides before this, this video. Uh, so we need a cable for this. So this is a straight through cable and connect, use any port. I'm selecting maybe fast ethernet 0 slash 10 and on this router I'm selecting fast ethernet 0 slash 0. So now cable has been connected between router and switch. Now this is important that this port, this interface of the switch which is connected with the router, this interface should be in the trunk mode. So we are going to enable trunking on this interface of the switch. What we need to do, we need to go to that interface Uh, interface fast ethernet that is 0 slash 10 which is connected with the router and here we need to say that switch port more uh, trunk and enter okay so just now this port is will act as a trunk so we have set up a trunking protocol on this port of the switch but for the router we need some other configuration so Initial configuration no, and then we need to go to that interface which is connected with that switch. So this is config T interface. So this was fast Ethernet zero slash zero. So interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero. This time we are in a route in the router. Yeah, and then we need to issue command no shut command to change the status to up and then we need to create these these logical sub interfaces so logically we need to divide that physical interface in other words what we say we, we say that go to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and to create the logical sub interface we give dot and we can give any number to this sub interface. So at this time, we will be using this sub interface for this VLAN 10. So I'm using the number 10 here. So with this command, we create a sub interface 0 0.10. Okay. And now on this interface, we need to set up encapsulation. So we will be using 802.1Q trunking protocol. Uh, that encapsulation. So we say encapsulation, encapsulation, 802.1q. So let's see to verify this. So dot encapsulation dot one q. So that is this is the right command. So encapsulation dot one q and this this interface or this sub interface will be used for VLAN 10. So 
here we need to give the number of VLAN. So this is for VLAN 10. So we just gave number 10. Enter. So now we created a sub interface and we gave an IP address. Oh, sorry, we haven't given an IP address. We need to give an IP address as well. And of course, we have selected that this and selected the encapsulation for this VLAN with this command. Now let's give an IP address to this. So IP address, and this sub interface will be used as a default gateway for these computers. And for that, we have selected this IP address, which is in the same subnet. So IP address 192.168.1.5 and then 255.255.255.0. This is a submit mark. Done. So now we are done with one sub interface, which is for VLAN 10. Now we need to create another sub interface for VLAN 20. So we need to go, we need to go to interface. Pass Ethernet zero slash zero dot twenty. You can find any number, but to to just make life easier for us. So this is twenty. So the second interface for VLAN twenty. And the next part is we need to select the encapsulation. So encapsulation, and that should be dot one q and this is for vlan 20 so just be assigned the number of vlan 20 here that's it so we activated the encapsulation here we activated the trunking protocol in other words and now we need to assign the ip address to this so ip address will be 192.168.10.5 because now this sub interface will be the default gateway for the PCs on VLAN 20. So we gave an IP address for the default gateway, and now this is a subnet mask for that. Press enter, and we are done. We are done with all the configuration needed to study the router on a SIG concept. So routing on this VLAN trunk is known as uh, router on a stick. And we have, we are done with all the required configuration. So what we have done, we have created two VLANs. Those are connected with a switch. So on the switch, we created VLAN. Now to uh, route the traffic from this VLAN to this VLAN, we have configured the router. So we took one physical interface and created multiple logical sub interfaces. And now let's see uh, is the time to check the connectivity. So for example, if I'm going to select this PC and uh, say for example, if I say that I want to ping this computer. Yeah, I, I didn't mention one point here. So on these all PCs, what I have done, so on these all PCs, for example, this PC, what I have done in the IP setting, I have given IP addresses mentioned here, and I also have defined the default gateway for them. So for the PCs on this subnet, default gateway is 192.168.10.5. So this is the default gateway. And for these all PCs here on this, I have assigned the IP addresses. So you can see 192 for this, 192.168.1.2, 192.168.1.2, and the default gateway is 192.168.1.5. So this is the default gateway. So this is the setting which I have I, I already did to save the time. Anyway, so now I'm going to select this PC and I'm going to ping a PC from this subnet, say formal 10.2. So what I do, I can write ping 192.168.10.2. Let's see. If it's working and if everything is uh, right then it should work yeah let's see after resolution of MAC address so we got the reply after some time we got the reply it means we can connect these 
I mean, we can we can ping from this PC to this PC. It means we can route our traffic from one VLAN to the next VLAN. Okay, so this is how we can configure a router um, to route the traffic um, between multiple VLANs. So yeah, so that's it for today. And uh, I, I think if you will practice it by yourself, then you will have an idea, and then you can go to the simulation mode, and then you can see everything by yourself that what is going on. So like this. So you can play with that, what's going on, how the physical address is going to resolve. Anyway, so you need to practice, practice it, and this was the basic configuration needed for that, for, for router on a stick, for, for inter-VLAN routing. And thank you. Thank you.